What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we're going to be playing Pokey Rogue, a free to play browser based roguelike Pokemon game, which is so good. I wish this was an official release because honestly, it is such a cool idea that I really love in practice. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content and enjoy these videos, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel by doing the Pan Fam. Man, a join channel member button below. So, what is Pokey Rogue? Well, it's a roguelike that you can play for free. And we're actually just going to dive right into a new game over here. Super simple stuff. So, the first thing you do is you need to make your team. You have a total of 10 points here. 10 points that you will make your team with and when you first start the game you only have the starters and you know you can see they can have egg moves as well it's pretty cool and you can go through all the different generations of pokemon so yes we have nine generations of pokemon every single pokemon is available here as well which is really dope but like i said you only start with the starters so we're only going to be showing off the starters in the beginning here but you can see if when you catch pokemon on your runs you do get them so i do have like pidgey me have slow poke and all these other cool guys so let's make a solid team and i think a really good team personally from my experience i think fue coco is absolutely goaded and yes you can actually change their ivs uh you can uh change their moves as well so if you don't like leer you can you know put something else on here as well if you wanted to do that well we add a uh, mud kit everyone was a good mud kit to the party does that mud kit and now we're gonna need a grass type what's a really good grass starter that we can pick here all right so there's our team right so we got way coco mud kit and bulbasaur and we are now ready to actually begin we currently have a run here which we will show off maybe towards the end of the video but let's show off a fresh run immediately you just go into battle and you can catch stuff you can fight stuff you can see how many turns it's been in this rogue run so this is the first turn in the rogue all right and you know there's no experience share but every time you defeat a pokemon or a battle you do get a free item and then you can spend money to also get uh, other items like healing items and this will be randomly uh changing so i think a protein is gonna be really good now, these items work a little bit differently than some standard Pokemon items, right? Increases the holder's base attack by 10%. The higher your IVs, the higher the stack limits, right? And we can give this to any one of our Pokemon. So, I will give this to Mudkip because, hey, Mudkip's our physical attacker. All right, so we got Shroomish here. We don't want to switch. We just want to kill it. And we can cash if we really wanted it to as well. So, nice crit. All right, we can learn Echo Voice and get some Pokeballs. I'm going to get some Pokeballs. Okay, so Abra, I'm not going to be switching. Abra's going to be a little bit hard to catch, but we're going to go for it because it's a very good Pokemon. We caught Abra. So you can see all the different Pokemon will have different IVs on them as well. And also they could potentially have their hidden abilities too. So now we have this Pokemon on our team. Wait, Coco level six. Uh, I think we're going to go for a Super Lure. So this has a chance of giving us double battles. Why do you want double battles? Well, double battles will give you the chance to get who Pokemon showing up. So you have two opportunities of catching different Pokemon, which is going to be really cool. But we could uh, switch off Way Coco here. We, or we can just keep it in. I think we're going to just keep it in. And uh, Mudkit, let's keep it in as well. So we can just pop an Ember on Surskit. That's going to be neutral. And then we can pop a Water Gun onto the Fido. Easy KO right there. Easy crit. Just go right through it. And you know what I love about this game is we can just play through it. You don't have to walk around or anything like that. It's just very much, okay, we just want to play. We just want to play. It's going to just be, you know, fewer action. So let's hear of the fake boy Coco. And yes, there are trainer battles. And you actually do have a rival. Uh, we'll be getting to the rival battle soon. So just real quick, just go through. Having a nice fire type is definitely very helpful in the beginning of the game. Because you get a lot of the Route 1 type of Pokemon, normal, bug, grass, flying type of Pokemon. So... Fire's just generally really solid here. All right, so we can get Great Balls for better catch rate, but we can get a Petra Berry. I'm going to give it to Fue Coco. So you can see the items on the top left. So we are holding one Petra Berry, and you can keep holding multiple items as well. So that is really cool. And there is no experience here at the beginning, but you can pick one up. So, oh, oh, we're hatching an egg. We are hatching an egg. 
We got a Chin Chow egg. So there is a whole feature where you get tickets to buy eggs. And I did that in my previous run. And now I am getting my eggs. So Chin Chow is now a starter. We're hatching a bunch of different eggs right now. Oh, man. We got a Bramblin egg. So that's cool. And we got new egg moves. Hey, nice. We got a Tarantula. That's cool. Oh my god, all the eggs. Sea Waddle. We're egged up, chat. And you can, yes, you can get shinies potentially as well. Hoot Hoot. Oh, we got a shiny! Shiny Scatterbug. Oh, crap, dude. Look at that. Shiny Scatterbug out of nowhere. All right, finally got through all of our stuff. Hey, we got Power Whip. So good TM. We're actually going to give the Bulbasaur. Uh, they give it some new moves. So that was a whole situation right there. Let's not switch. Let's not switch yet. Uh, we can just Ember this. And we can Water Gun the Eggins here. Oh, no. My kit might go down here. Uh, let's make sure we get rid of that. I'm going to switch to a Bulbasaur because we are going to be Grass and Poison. So we can take these hits decently well. And we can't get Poison. So that will be pretty solid. Yeah, so there are abilities like Blaze is triggering. And let's have Bulbasaur just pop off with a tackle to be able to take it. I'll say the earliest part of a run is definitely the hardest. Rock Smash, nice. Uh, Ultra Balls are decent. I'm actually going to buy a heal here. I think Ultra Balls so we can catch some good Pokemon. Oh, God, it's a rival fight. All right, let's hope we don't fail on our first rival fight. So they will always have a random starter. Torchic. I'm not too afraid. I'll just use round. This Mudkip is a little bit low on HP. I don't want to really bring it out. All right. We got we got the KO. But oh, I got a female Torchic too. Nice. All right. Pidgey. We can just stay in and use uh, Ember. Oh, no. If we missed, it's going to put us in a bad spot. We missed. We don't have a lot of great switch-ins here. Which is definitely our problem. Our special attack went up. Oh, we got burn. Okay. I can do something really risky. I'm going to switch to Abra. I'm really going to hope Abra doesn't get knocked out. Abra might actually outspeed, so we can use teleport. Okay, so now we got a free switch. And I think we go to Bulbasaur. And the burn kills. And there we go. Easy win. Easy win, dude. So you got to play a little bit smart. Because, you know, you you only get healed up, I think, after about every 10 uh, turns. Okay, we got experience all and a super EXP charm. We're going to pop a potion. I'm going to pop it on the way Coco. Now, that was the early game, but let's show you what late game sort of looks like. We're at wave 115 with over level 100 Pokemon, a two hour run in here. This is what it looks like. It gets crazy. Yes, there is Terra involved and all that. We got Meow Scrotta, who's absolutely busted here. Look at all the items I have attached to Meow Scrotta. EXP go crazy. EX, everyone's just leveling up. It, it, it goes nutty. It get, this is a run that is incredibly powerful. We're, we're just steamrolling. I'm getting five items a time now. It's sort of wild. Let's get the X attack on here. We're just going to spam flower trick. We got 10 more of these. Just going in. And yeah, so whenever I do a lot of damage with this Meow Scrotta, I just end up getting paid too. So we sort of have an infinite money thing going on here. And the EXP is so crazy that we've already hit the level cap on this character immediately. At least until the next one. Yeah, let's just get the X speed going too. Might as well. So there are different biomes. So this is like a beach biome. And if you get the item called a map, you can actually pick your different route. And each route will have different Pokemon that spawn. So if you're looking for something to particularly use, that's where you would go to catch them. And you get actual gym leaders as the area leaders from the Pokemon games, which is actually really sick. Uh, so we can get a lychee. Yeah, let's just see. Yeah. Let's get Meow Scrot on everything. This might not kill, but... No, it did kill because Meow Scrot is an absolute beast. And we're not even getting experience anymore because everyone's just absolutely at max. A berry pouch. Oh, yeah. That's huge. And honestly, like I said, if you want to play this, play this in school. Play it in the middle of your class. Super easy and simple to do. It's in the browser. It's pretty awesome. I 
I put like two hours of my life while I was supposed to be doing some work. I was just doing this. Lots of fun. Also, another beast of a Pokemon is Skeledurge. Absolute, absolute beast of a Pokemon in these types of runs, too. Uh, Torch Song is a cr absolutely crazy thing here. Let's get another. Oh, Boss Keldeo. Oh, shit. Boss Keldeo. All right, I'm going to switch to uh, Alakazam. All right, let's see what a Psychic does. It's level 110. I don't even know if I can. Okay, this actually might be problematic. Oh, it took me out. It took me out. I'm going to flower trick. I don't know how it's going to do. Oh, my God. I killed it. I couldn't catch it. But it could. It took my Alakazam. I needed blood, chat. I needed blood. Okay, now we can go to sea or island. Let's go to island. Wow. RP or Alakazam, bro. That was a hard. That, that was brutal. Okay, a new level cap, though. We're back. We're back. All right. So we can just flower trick this. And then we can hit the the double shock on you i mean the the enemy pokemon are getting definitely higher level they're getting up there and i'm not gonna lie i'm not sure what this maxes out at what the highest level you can reach what the final level is i don't know if it's infinite it really might be but this team does feel a little bit unbeatable like, I do think the three starters you pick at the beginning can just completely dictate how good your run's going to be. Okay, so uh, we're going to actually purchase a Max Revive. Oh, wait, we didn't even need to. Nice. Uh, honestly, we can just get a nugget, get some money. We're just going to get paid. going to get paid. But, guys, if you want to see me play more of this game, definitely let me know in the comment section below. It's a lot of fun. It's a very cool game. And if you want me to live stream this, also let me know. I would be definitely willing to live stream this game because I do think it's pretty fun. Super fast, super easy to play. And like I said, we can all play together as a community as well, which is pretty cool. Let's give ourselves Grass Terra now in the Meow Grotto so we can just hit extra hard with this flower trick. And yeah, if you want some good strats, pick Meow Grotto, pick Skelly Dirge as your starters, and uh, don't look back from there. But there we have it, guys. That is Pokey Rogue. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.